Acknowledgements This book has been a labor of love on the part of many people. Our comrades at the Center for a Stateless Society, including Brad Spangler, Roderick T. Long, Kevin Carson, Charles W. Johnson, Sheldon Richman, Chris Lempa, Joseph R. Stromberg, James Tuttle, Roman Pira, Anna O. Morgenstern, Tom Knapp, Darian Warden, David S. Diamato, Tennyson McCalla, Mike Gogolski, Stacy Litz, Ross Kenyon, Matt Gold, Mariana Evica, Rocco Stanzione, Wendy McElroy, and Stefan Kinsella deserve our ongoing thanks for, among other things, the stimulation they have provided for this and other projects. We are particularly grateful to Roderick for proposing an April 2010 Association of Private Enterprise Education Symposium with the title Free Market Anti-Capitalism, in which a number of us participated, along with our friend Stephen Horowitz, that provided the initial impetus for work on the project. Alex Coburn, Bill Kaufman, Sean Gabb, and Ken McLeod deserve our thanks for their willingness to endorse the book. We are also grateful to Stefan Shuketis of Minor Compositions and Autonomedia for his continued support. More broadly, we appreciate Autonomedia's willingness to release a potentially controversial project like this one. We are very much aware of the ambivalence members of the Autonomedia Collective and some of Autonomedia's constituents feel regarding arguments featured in the book, and of course we understand that all those associated with the press reserve the right to disagree profoundly with us. At the same time, we appreciate and share their hope that the book will both prompt productive conversation within the anarchist milieu and facilitate the redirection in a more positive and liberatory direction of the libertarian populism currently attracting attention in the United States. We are very pleased by the collective's willingness to accept us as fellow leftists and fellow opponents of corporate privilege, even as some of its members view our proposed solutions with pronounced skepticism. Similarly, we are thankful for rapid, appealing, eye-catching work to the book's designer, who, deeply uncomfortable with some aspects of the book's content, asked not to be identified as associated with the project. Charles would like to extend special thanks to Sheldon Richman, Tennyson McCalla, and James Tuttle for encouragement, helpful suggestions, and for immensely helpful support to the many disparate projects that came together in this book, to his comrades and interlocutors, Abe, Kelly, Caleb, Mitch, Rachel, Nicole, Bobby, Irina, and Joanna, from Vegas Anarchist Cafe and Living Without Borders, and for debts far too great to account in the making of this book and for everything else besides, to his teacher, Roderick T. Long, his father, Paul M. Johnson, and his beloved companion, Laura Breitenbeck. Without them, none of this would have been possible. On Gary's part, thanks are due to the usual suspects, Eleanor Webb, Jeffrey Cassidy, Annette Bryson, Ina Prakash, Alexander Leon, Andrew Howe, Angela Keaton, Anne-Marie Pearson, Bart Wilruth, Carol Pateman, Craig R. Kinzer, David B. Hoppe, David R. Larson, Deborah K. Dunn, Donna Carlson, Ellen Hubble, Eva Pascal, Fritz Guy, Heather Ferguson, Jan M. Holden, Jesse Lehman, Joel Sandfer, John Elder, John Thomas, Julio C. Munoz, Kenneth A. Dickey, Lawrence T. Garrity, Les Antman, Ligia Radwa, Maria Zlateva, Michael Orlando, Nabil Abu Asal, Patricia Cabrera, Robert E. Rustad, Jr., Ronel Harvey, Ruth E. E. Burke, Sel J. Huang, W. Kent Rogers, and Woniel Kim. He especially appreciates the moral and logistical support Eleanor provided as work on the book was completed. As usual, John Thomas ensured that La Sierra University's School of Business was a congenial place in which to work on a scholarly project of this nature. We've dedicated Markets, Not Capitalism to Carl Hess, a gentle, insightful, graceful, articulate, and passionate believer in freedom, decentralization, and peaceful voluntary cooperation. Carl bridged the gap between the old right and the new left, powerfully indicted the political status quo, and provided a compelling and unsettling model of life outside the state's clutches. Flawed like everyone else, he was nonetheless good and decent, embodying the commitment to human liberation we seek to foster with this book. We thank publishers of copyrighted material for reprint permission.